Hi, this is Trace HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our April 2018 tarot reading. And this reading is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message you need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And for the beginning of the month, we'll take a card from the top. Middle of the month, I'm going to take a card from the center. And the end of the month, I'm going to take a card from the bottom. Okay, so what do we have here? Looks like a very active month. We first start out with the Eight of Swords, okay? And the Eight of Swords has this woman with a sword in her hand, and there's all these swords pointing down. And she has a very serious look on her face. The Eight of Swords in the beginning of the month, okay, the energy that this is carrying with it is that you're going to feel restricted. You're going to feel bound okay you're you're feeling some type of fearful energy within your mind okay and it's preventing you from moving forward when we're fearful like that we feel controlled i mean fear is the oldest tactic used to control people and when we allow our minds to be fearful we restrict ourselves okay it's like a self-imposed prison that we put on ourselves so don't give in to these feelings of fear Okay, in the beginning of the month, whatever it is that you're fearing, okay, the answer that you're seeking is very much available to you. You may need to get some quiet time to sit down, listen to your gut feelings, listen to your intuition, uh, because when we're out hustling and bustling around all day, nonstop, okay, we're missing a lot of things. And when you're overstressed, overworked, that's when this anxiety sets in. And, and that's when your mind starts wandering off on these fearful thoughts. So be aware of this in the beginning of the month. You're, you're feeling restricted, but it's really a restriction you're placing on yourself. It's really not that bad. So be aware of the thoughts that you're thinking in the beginning of the month. And don't allow them, okay, to completely absorb you. Don't give in to them because they're just thoughts. They're not reality. And in the middle of the month, we have the Eight of Wands. We have this hand. And this card here is telling you that you might have to stand up for something that you believe in. Okay, somebody's going to be challenging you. And you're going to have to take a calm, confident stand on whatever this is that you're being challenged on. And this also here is a very, how could I say, it's a fast-moving energy. Like the hand is, is facing up and you see all these wands going out into the air. Okay. This here is telling you that some type of good news is going to arrive. So here you're feeling fearful. And I really think that it's, you know, it's all self-inflicted because by the middle of the month, okay, with this eight of wands here, you're going to have some type of good news, some type of lighter energy, okay, to, to break up this, this, this heavy energy here in the beginning of the month. Uh, you might even consider going on a vacation. Maybe you're going to be getting away. You know, it is the spring. A lot of people go on spring break. But with these eight of wands here, uh, a good message is going to be coming through to you. It could be an email. It could be a phone call. It could be someone verbally telling you something, something you overhear. So there's nothing to fear. And then at the end of the month, we have the seven of swords. Okay, and with the Seven of Swords here, the energy that the month ends on is going to be something, it, the guy looks very intense on this card, first of all. I mean, he's standing there with his hand up, and all of these hands are coming towards him with swords. These two are pointing up, these two are pointing down, and these three are just on the ground there. And he's just like, you know, no more. He's holding his hand up like he's defending himself, and that's exactly what it is, Okay. It could be somebody stealing something from you, somebody taking something from you, feeling like you were deceived, somebody betrayed you by the end of the month, okay? And something was, you know, taken from you. So be careful if you're traveling here. If this is a card where you're going to be traveling, be careful to make sure you don't leave your, your valuables in the room. I would keep them on me at all times because something is going to be either taken from you. Maybe it's even an idea. Maybe a colleague steals an idea. Or maybe you tell your friend about something that you're going to do and they steal your idea. It could be something like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be a physical object. It could be uh, something where you felt betrayed. Betrayed by someone taking something from you, whatever it was. And you feel that it was very unfair. 
very interesting month for you. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.